Hazard, and we are at Hazard Farm, which is the family side of the operation. I have about 20 acres here, and then another 20 acres up at my place, and the name of that farm is Hazard Free Farm. We also have Brady and Lucky joining us this morning, and we're going to be co covering all manner of information related to small processing for small grains and food grade production and how you can get started on a budget. This is my dryer and we're going to cover about how this dryer works and this is a barge box. It has a false floor in it that's made out of the floor from an old grain dryer that we took apart, um, corn bin dryer. And uh, we have heat going in the end, and then we have suction on the top. And so we'll show you a few shots of what the top looks like. So this fan has, it sits down like this. You can put it flush, but it really has a lot of power and it pulls a lot. And you might see a little water vapor here. This is from pulling the moisture out of the corn. And um, I use these blocks to like, create just a little bit of an extra draw so it's not drawing so hard against the propane um, heater in there and you can put it up on both ends so that it's drawing some air and that way it's not sucking this down so far i also find when it's cold out it's important to preheat the grain so run that heat for a couple hours maybe um, before you turn the fan on you will notice that everything at the bottom is really hot and the grain at the top is not, and that can be problematic. So just keep that in mind, particularly in cold weather. Like right now this is not a good time to dry corn. It's very cold during the day, so or small grain. It takes a lot longer. So, so we are looking at the front end of the barge box right now. This is a John Deere barge box, and as I said, there is a false floor in it that comes up to about here, which we can show you in the back when we open it. Um... The thing about the barge box that you really need is you need the hydraulics. Otherwise, you're going to be hand scooping out of it to get whatever grain it is. So when you have the hydraulics, we'll be able to lift up this end. We take the lid off first, and that is a whole other thing. If you have a way to attach that lid to, like, a hoist on a ceiling in a building, that would be the best idea. Our situation isn't that. I remove it on and off with the skid steer, and we'll show you how I do that. And it definitely is like a little bit of a technical fussy thing. Um, so hydraulics is super important. Just remember that. You don't have to have it when you start, but that's the goal. Is Book your propane early. Get your propane tank and get it filled and make sure that you have a farm account for it. If you have a farm account, they will prioritize filling your tank over um, residential fillings. And they're very thoughtful about it. So just keep that in mind. Um, they came and filled mine the other day, so I'm back up to like 90%. So make sure your tank is full. You don't want any leaks here. Make sure that they look over everything. I was leaking. It leaked so much I lost, you know, a few percentage points. And so I had them come over and fix that so we're all set. This is attached to my shop heater here. And we're going to turn this on and show you how it works. So you first turn the gas on. The second thing is you plug in your heater. And you might have noticed that sound change. That's the sound of it turning on. Turn it all the way up. And then I'll turn this off and we'll talk more, but this goes right in the hole. 